I am Gino. Hi, I'm Tiff. And this is my review of The Muppets Take Manhattan. For two dudes, one flick. In this movie, the Muppets have just graduated from college, and as is American tradition, they move to New York to have their dreams crushed. I'm guessing the Muppets were all theater majors. I loved this movie growing up, and I have the worn out VHS to prove it. This movie is a little dated, but these characters are timeless. For all you younger viewers, the VHS was the movie format that we used to watch movies on our VCRs. I don't know if the Swedish chef is racist or just ridiculous, but I do know he is hilarious. Oh, and a VCR was the thing that we used to watch movies that we rented from Blockbuster. Fozzie Bear trying to hibernate is so funny. And Blockbuster was a brick and mortar shop. You know what, just read a history book. Lots of interspecies breeding here. Pigs with frogs, whatever Gonzo is with chickens and animal with lots of unconsenting women. So I hadn't seen this movie in a few years, but I have to say it holds up pretty well. This is animal breathing. There are a couple of janky scenes involving Muppet feet, but overall the humor and charm that I remember is still there. The lesson of this movie, and really the story of Jim Henson, Frank Oz, and the Muppets, is to believe in your dreams, believe in your friends, and never give up. If you can't wait for the new Muppet movie to come out, this is a great movie to hold you over until then. So that's my review of The Muppets Take Manhattan. Join us next week. We're reviewing the new Muppet movie. Like and share us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. See ya.